on today's show. The Pistons losing streak hits 11 games in a row where expectations may be a little bit too high on Monty Williams and Cade Cunningham coming into this season for this version of this Pistons team. And also, why Killian Hayes over Jaden Ivey so far this season? And a bunch more questions with this Pistons team. It's all coming up right here at Locked On NBA. You are Locked On NBA, your daily NBA podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What's up and welcome to another edition of Locked On NBA, the biggest stories with the local experts. I'm your host, Jackson Gatlin, also host of Locked On Rockets right here on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every single day. Now, today's episode is brought to you by Prize Picks. PrizePix is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. They're the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports because it's just you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks, all you do is pick more than or less than on two to six players and their stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Prize picks is so simple to play. You can make your picks in less than a minute. It's so easy. They've got quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and different stat types, which is what makes Prize picks the number one DFS app on the market. And with basketball season now here and in full swing, you can do combo projections across football and basketball with their specials league, a league created specifically for combo projections that includes two or more players from different sports or leagues. For example, you can do LeBron James plus Travis Kelsey at a 10.5 combo of three-pointers made plus reception. So if you've been thinking about checking out daily fantasy sports, about getting into DFS, you've got to give prize picks a chance. Go to prizepicks.com slash locked on NBA and use code locked on NBA, all lowercase, for a first deposit match up to $100. It's a free hundred bucks. Just go to prizepicks.com slash locked on NBA. And again, use promo code lowercase, all locked on NBA, for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. Joining us now is the host of Locked On Pistons, Kuka Hill. You can track down wherever you listen to your podcast and on YouTube. Just search Locked On Pistons. And Ku, the Detroit Pistons riding an 11-game losing streak, bottom five offensively. Not much better than that defensively, unfortunately. Walk us through kind of what, what exactly, give us the 10,000-foot bird's-eye view right now. What's going wrong in Detroit? What's going spectacularly wrong in Detroit right now? Uh, like... The easy answer is just everything. Like everything that possibly could have went wrong is possibly going wrong. They've been hit by the injury bug. Um, Cade is is not being. You're not seeing this big step from Cade that people want to see, and a lot of it has to do with the pieces surrounding him. Um, there was the the moves that were made this past off season. They weren't many at all. This made this past off season, but the few that were made haven't even. Be, either one hasn't been seen or two haven't made been made an impact um, have, has made an impact on the team so far. Um, and they've had a tough schedule. Um, they've had a lot of back-to-backs. They played five games and seven nights. Um, they've, you know, it's been tough. So it just about everything and every which way it is as went wrong for the Pistons. So you, you said there a moment ago that Cade hasn't taken the step forward. I want to start with him. First, is it fair to have expected Cade to take this massive step forward in his career, which is essentially his second NBA season? And, you know, people maybe forget that he missed basically the entirety of last year. And then you also mentioned the parts surrounding him not fitting. So do you do you put the blame on Cade for not taking that step forward, or is it more about the pieces around him then? Cade has not been perfect. Cade, Cade has areas he has to improve in, like his turnover. Some of his turnovers are just lackadaisical. He needs to do better with taking care of the basketball. Um, but it, it, the Pistons are at a point where it's like 90%, I would say, not his fault, like close to 90%. He's The situation that Kay Cunningham's in, I would say it's probably the one of the worst situations I've seen a young, budding franchise player has ever been in. I, like, it's, it's, he's on, the, let's just quick example. Hit one of his starting wings is Kevin Knox, who was signed to the team nine days ago, who was not in the NBA 10 days ago. That, that's who they're starting at the wing because he's the only other six, seven and above guy that relative or theoretically can shoot. So they have to go out with Kevin Knox. They, they are without Jalen Duran, and because they didn't address the backup center position, 
they are now moving Isaiah Stewart up to the five in the starting lineup and just playing him at the five because they don't trust James Wiseman to play many minutes. And if you play Marvin Bagley a ton of minutes, a lot of his weaknesses start to show. Whereas when he's sp- playing small minutes, you can just take advantage of the fact, hey, come out here and score as much as you can, 10 to 15 minutes. We don't need you to do great on the rebound. We don't need you to come out here and make a defensive difference, or anything, et cetera. Just do what you're great at. When you're playing 30 minutes, it's a different story. So they're moving Stu up to the starting five because of this. They're starting Kevin Knox, who wasn't on the team 10 days ago. Arsar Thompson, who has been, a, would say, a great rookie, especially defensively. But with all the other stuff going on offensively, the fact that he can't shoot offensively then is just being even more so just highlighted. Um, and then his other backcourt mate, Jay and Ivy started today. He, everyone's been asking for Jay and Ivy to start, and he had a horrific game. And you saw some of the reasons why Monty has been so low on him defensively with some of his coverages. Um, and then before Jay and Ivy, you're starting Killian Hayes, who I believe in. But whether you believe in Killian Hayes or not, he's not a respected shooter. So that's another guy the teams just don't guard. So it's just... Cade, Cade has nobody currently on this team that can help him at all offensively. And it's 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 pretty it's sad to see, to be honest. Honestly, it sounds like Cade better be writing a bunch of get well soon yards to Boyan Bogdanovich because they need some shooting back out there on the floor uh ex- expeditiously. I- I'm glad you brought up the the whole Jade Nivey, Killian Hayes thing, because, you know, since Monty taking the reins and, and running the show now, that's been kind of one of the more perplexing, I guess, decisions so far is is his confidence, his faith levels in Killian Hayes. Walk us through that decision making process. Is it, it uh, you said you were defending it from the, the Killian Hayes. Perspective. You believe in Killian Hayes. Is it the right move right now? Or is it has the losing streak kind of changed something in you where you're like, eh, maybe they do need something different? So I've I've believed in Killian Hayes before the season. I wasn't asking for him to start. Him starting um, this season caught, I feel like, everyone off the guard. I don't think anyone was projecting Killian Hayes to start for the Pistons. Yeah. I don't think that was something that we even the biggest Killian Hayes fan was expecting to see happen. Um, but it boils down to the fact that the Pistons, Troy Weaver and Monty Williams have spoke about defense all offseason. And they spoke about defense all preseason, all training camp. And they're they were backing it up with that. Jane Ivy's not good defensively. So they've been starring Killian Hayes and because Killian Hayes is good defensively and because Killian Hayes had a really good preseason. He had a really good off season from everything I've heard. Um, and they wanted to give him a chance to show while Monte Morris is out. Hey, can you be our backup point guard? Are you someone that we can invest in long-term to be a decent player for us? Um, and it kind of, it's tough because Killian Hayes hasn't been bad for the Pistons. Like, oh, so like over the last 11 games, the first two games of the year, really bad over the last 11 games he's shooting 42 percent from the field 36 percent from deep 10 and a half points 4.8 assists to less than half a turnover a game so it's it's not that he's been bad it, he's just not what the pistons need at the off guard position they need someone who can take some pressure off a cade who can provide some scoring some spacing next to him because no one else can and theoretically that's what jane ivy's supposed to be um so that's why everyone's been wanting to see Ivy because Ivy is that guy that's supposed to help K take some of that pressure off. But then you see a game like today, you finally get the Jane Ivy and K Cunningham experience and you lose by damn near 40. You were down by 40 at one point and you're seeing Ivy repeatedly make these defensive mistakes over and over and over again. And then in games like tonight where he's not having it offensively, he was 0 of 5 from deep, 3 of 10 from the floor. Now it's just like, okay, you're really hurting us defensively which is what Monty Williams, every time he makes a defensive mistake, I just watch Monty Williams' face. He's he's just, he can't take it over there. And then offensively, you're not helping tonight, that is. I, I, Ivy's, I think he's a really good prospect. I like Ivy. But tonight, like, you're not playing well offensively. You're also hurting defensively. So now it's just like, okay, where else do you go? And it, there's nowhere else to go. You don't got nowhere else to go. So I think long-term, they need to start Ivy uh, because th- that's who needs to help K theoretically. But, like... Starting Ivy isn't saving all this. Start, starting Ivy isn't fixing everything. He's not, you know, Pistons fans don't really want to hear this, but he's not good enough right now to fix everything. He's not, he maybe in three, four years he will be, but right now he's not good enough to fix these issues. He can help somewhat, you'd hope, but he's not fixing all of this. Kind of seems like a short-term fix, like starting Hayes over Ivy for what, you know, it seems to be a long-term problem where you need to be able to find somebody to be Cade Cunningham's running mate, his you know, the, the guy to take the pressure off him, like you're saying there. 
offensively. Couple bright spots though for the Pistons at least. Maybe round this thing out with some positivity. Ku Amenton, or sorry, not a Ben Thompson. I apologize. Freudian slip here. That's the guy that I get to cover in Houston. His brother <laughs> though, Asar Thompson, has been playing out of his mind as a rookie. And even Marcus uh, Sasser has had some strong games for the Pistons so far. A couple, you know, maybe some bright spots here in the darkness for the Pistons. I'd say Asar Thompson has been. If, who, I was very high on Asar Thompson heading into the draft. There I were a lot of people in, debating Asar over Amin possibly in the draft. So I, I, I won't I won't go that far because I still very much I was very high on <laughs> Amin heading into the draft. I was very high on him. I thought he could be like the second best prospect in this class. So I loved Amin. I loved his brother, but I also loved Asar, and that's who I wanted the Pistons to draft, and they did. So I'm very happy with Asar, but he's been way better than I think anybody who like even his biggest fan could have expected. He's I, I've said it before. I think it's arguable that he's already a top 10 defender in the NBA. It's crazy how good defensively he is. He's a special, special defensive athlete. Um, he's a wing averaging 10.3 rebounds a game, 1.8 blocks, 1.2 steals. Like these, these are like prime Andre Karolinko numbers. Like, like this is like, it's crazy what he's doing. So I think he's been a bright spot. I think you're starting to see him offensively try to find spots where he can impact the game without being able to shoot. I think you're starting to see that. The problem, again, is just like, and Asar is so good, and, and he's going to be a cornerstone for the team. So I'm not saying that you bench him or something at all. You keep him in the sun, you play him as many minutes as possible. It's just that the problem is everyone's surrounding Cade and Asar. When you already have one player like Asar who t- defenders are just not going to guard to the three-point line, you then can't have another and another and another. So I, I think everyone's happy with Asar. Everyone recognizes how great he can be long-term, how great he I, I think he's going to be long-term, but I think some frustrations are starting to come out in the Pistons community right now, offensively, not even, obviously he needs to get better at shooting, but it's being exacerbated because of everyone that's around him. All the players around him is really highlight. Oh, sorry, really can't shoot. Cause if everyone was shooting around him, it'd be like, Oh, well, you know, he's doing all this other stuff for us. You know, who cares? He's cutting, he's all of this, whatever. But when he's not shooting, they're not respecting Stu. They're not respecting Killian. They're not respecting, you know, all these guys. Now it's like, dude, can K get some spacing? And it's kind of like turning on everybody. So, yeah, I think Asar has been great. But even within that, as you see, it's not, you know, all sunshine and rainbows over here. <laughs> when will the Pistons be able to snap this losing streak? Can Jaden Ivey emerge as the guy to help Cade Cunningham, especially in that starting lineup? You'll have us covered for all of that and more over at Locked on Pistons. Coup, thanks for stopping by Locked on NBA with me. Appreciate you.